It's Adrian Avina here with Bass University TV. I'm going to go over one of my favorite techniques for highly pressured situations. You know, this is a technique that's really been flying under the radar. You know, a lot of times we're trying to find out the next best thing. This is one of these things that's been out for a few years. It's been flying under the radar, but now it's starting to get some public exposure. And it's a technique that's called Nico rigging. And I'm going to first go over my setup and I'm going to go over from soup to nuts. I'm going to go over everything with this technique. This here is my rod and reel combination. I'm using a seven foot medium light action spinning rod. You want to use a lighter action rod because you're using really light line. This here is six pound triline 100% fluorocarbon. Depending on the structure I'm fishing it around, I'll bump it up a little bit, but I never use more than 10. Always stay real, real light line. You know, a lot of guys, they'll use braid to fluorocarbon. 95% of my spinning rods, whenever I'm out spinning rod fishing, it'll be braid to fluorocarbon. This is one of those unique applications that because it's so finesse, a lot of times you're fishing a little bit deeper. I actually, I use straight fluorocarbon. So it's very, very, very finesse. And uh, man, I just can't tell you how much I actually, I like this application, but small spinning reel. This is a Revo STX 20 size, uh, but just a real, real light rod. That's what you want. You want something that you're going to really be able to detect those bites. Cause a lot of times, you know, those fish, whenever they grab the worm, they may just be swimming off with it. It might feel like a leave. It might feel like a wet sock, but a lot of times you can hardly feel that bite. And um, what I do a lot of times when I get that bite, the fish starts swimming off. I never want to set the hook the same direction. So here I'm going to grab, this is one that actually I throw the most and it's, it's actually a 1 64th ounce. I'm going to get ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to bite just a really small portion off the top, the, the fat end of that worm. And I'm going to insert this nail weight right through the head of that soft plastic. You get ahead and insert it into that worm, pull it back. So now it's in the head of that soft plastic worm. I'm going to get ahead and grab my rod. And here you're going to see I have a really small hook. This is actually a drop shot hook. It's a fusion drop shot hook by Berkeley. This is a one aught. I throw the one aught on the six inch worms and I throw a number one on the, on the four to five inch worms. But now this is the important part. So I have the straight tail worm and you want to favor the fat end of the worm. But one important thing here, instead of just rigging it directly through the middle of the worm, you want to think. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.